Hi everyone, it's Karen the Jodie Grandma. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you watched my last video this week um, about my holiday at home, you'll notice I'm wearing the same clothes. Uh, you may notice I'm wearing the same clothes. Maybe if I hadn't mentioned it, you wouldn't have noticed. But I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm recording this video on the same day. I thought I'd get both of them done while I was in the, in the right frame of mind. So what I'm going to talk about today is what's in my bag. Um, this is not my handbag. What happened was, I'll tell you why I've got this little bag. What happened was, um, I sit on a two-seat SRT when I'm in the house, which is this one, watching the TV. And usually next to us, I've got a collection of items around us that I think I need, I'm going to need through, you know, through the next few hours or whatever I'm doing. So I, ha I have all of these things collected on the set A. So I thought what I'm going to do is, because it looks so messy, instead of, because I don't keep all these things in my handbag, so I change handbags. So I decided I would keep them all in one little bag. So I had this makeup bag, which is the best things in life are cruelty free, from the pip box. So I thought I would put all of the things that I have stacked up beside us while I'm watching TV or whatever. Um, so it looks tidier in the within easy reach. So I'm going to show you what's in this bag. Does anybody, if anybody's got little kids, there's a program on TV called The Baby Club and it's for, obviously it's for mothers and babies or fathers and babies or grandparents and babies. And when we have Harriet here, we watch Baby Club and there's a section in it called what's in the bag <laughs> there's an item in the bag then the baby feels it and pulls the thing out anyway that reminded us of this so i digress so what's in my bag i'm just going to pull stuff out and show you i have my diary in there so i can if anything comes up if anybody rings us um you know i've got my diary to hand to write something down so i've got my diary in there got this little diary from poundland actually it came with a calendar I got it, I think I got it in December. Um, and it's just so cute and it's nice pocket sized diary. It's, you know, kind of um, a week to a two page spread. I like that kind of diary. So there's that. I've also got a pen uh, to write in the diary. Um, that also was from Pound. I know I really, really love this pen. It came in a pack of two for a pound. It's, it's rose gold, which I can't do. You know, that's the colour of the pen, not the ink. It's black ink. But it's a really nice writer. I really, really like that pen. So I'm going to have to go and get myself some more. Otherwise, I'm going to run out. So there's that. Um, hand cream. Always have hand cream on us. Uh, you know, Warren's often said I should have a utility belt that's got all these things in. But a little bag was much easier. I, must, I, I put hand cream on. Oh God, 10 times a day every time I wash my hands obviously I wash my hands more often at the minute so more hand cream I just I, I don't know whether it's that I had really dry hands so I need the hand cream or the more I used the hand cream the more I needed the hand cream but whatever I get through a lot of hand cream so I've always got hand cream in me my little bag so this is a I think I got this from Sainsbury's it was just a cheap range one pound Q10 hand treatment, my skin matters, anti-age, quite a nice hand cream. So there's that. I've also got a little notepad um, in the bag, just in case I have any ideas for anything. Um, if I'm watching a YouTube video, I might see something that I want to, you know, want to buy if somebody else has um, bought it. I have to like to have a little notepad so I can jot things down on. I've got my specs. Uh, these are my reading specs. Nice blue ones from Specsavers. Um, I've also got some purple ones that I have for the computer that they are kept on my desk. But these are kept in my little, my little bag. So there's my Specs. Got another pen just in case that one runs out. I have some lip balm. This one is a Up in the Clouds lip balm uh, by Coconut Lane. I think I got that from the Pip Box as well. Um, nice. Nice lip balm. I use a lot of lip balm. My lips seem to get really dry. Uh, again, it's one of those things like the hand cream. You know, when my lips dry and I needed the lip balm, or the more you use the lip balm, the more you need the lip balm. I don't know, but I use the lip balm. I've got another lip balm in here as well. I've been looking for this all over. 
I couldn't find it. This is the Barley Balm. I also got this from the Pip Box and it's cinnamon and blood orange. And that's a really, really nice lip balm. Really like that one. I've got a lipstick in here. Don't know why, just in case I fancy putting some lipstick on when I'm sitting watching the TV. Quite like this lipstick as well. This one is from Primark and it is a nice kind of um, like a brownie colour, nude brownie colour. Yeah, quite like that lipstick. Primark does a lot of good makeup, I think. I've got a little mirror um, in here, just in case I need to look at my face. <laughs> um, I don't know, just a little mirror is always handy. I have a little spray for cleaning my glasses, uh, which I do quite often because I always seem to have lots of marks on them. So I have that in my little bag. What else have I got? I've got, I don't know why I've got this in my bag. Needles and threads. Warren was looking through this. I told him to get something out of this, this bag one day. And he said, why have you got needles and threads? Um, I don't know, but it, the, I'm sure they're going to come in handy at some point. So needles and threads. I've got a nail file. Because I prefer to file my nails rather than cut them. And I'm one of these people who... I've got a bit of a superstition of cutting my nails. I don't know if anybody knows that that rhyme, you know, cut them on Monday, cut them for health, Tuesday, cut them for wealth, Wednesday, news, Thursday, new pair of shoes, Friday, cut them for sorrow, Saturday, see a true love tomorrow, and Sunday, if you cut your nails on Sunday, ill luck will be with you all the week. <laughs> Stupid, isn't it? It's an old wives thing. Um, but I've always kind of been superstitious about it. So I try not to cut my nails on quite a few of those days because I don't want any news because it could be bad news. I don't want sorrow and I don't want ill luck. Um, I don't really want to find me true love or, or you know if I cut them on a Saturday well, then what am I going to do with Warren? Um, so I tend to, I sound really stupid, I, I tend to, to cut me, me nails on a, on a certain couple of days so I have a nail file instead so we don't need that problem. So that's me nail file. I know you're sitting there thinking, geez, I'm not who. Yeah, maybe. Um, this is something else that I always find really handy, and it is tea tree oil. And I get this from, I don't think I got this one from the body shop, but or maybe I did, but I usually buy it from the body shop. Tea tree oil with a little applicator in it. And I find if I feel like I'm getting a, a cold sore or a spot or anything like that, if I put some tea tree oil on it, it stops it coming out so I swear by this I really really like this so I always have this to hand um tea tree oil and this is tea tree, tea tree oil and aloe so aloe vera skin rescue stick highly recommend one of those um I'm coming to the end here I have an empty lipstick in here because there's nothing in it look it's kind of dregs I'd need a lip brush to use that um, this was a lipstick that I really like the colour of um, and I keep forgetting to look for it. So I put this in my bag, so it prompted me when I'm looking on Amazon on my phone to actually look for this lipstick. Having said that, this is a Max Factor lipstick and I don't think Max Factor are cruelty free. So I may have to rethink that. So if anybody knows, this is a Max Factor um, and it is English Rose 510 and it's a nice pinky colour and it's got like a little bit of a, uh, a gloss on it. If anybody knows of a cruelty free alternative to this colour, um, please let us know because I try not to use or I try to use cruelty free products as much as I possibly can. Sometimes some get, you know, get through the net and I'll use them by mistake. So if anybody knows an alternative to that, just let us know in the comments below. Um, another lip balm. You can never have too many lip balms. I have a thermometer. Now, <laughs> over the last over the last 10 weeks, obviously, um, raised temperatures have been a big thing. So I decided to put this thermometer in my bag. Um, and if ever I felt like I had a fever, I take my temperature. I haven't done it every day, honestly. Just a couple of times. Strangely enough, or not strangely, but last week I wasn't very well for about four, four or five days. Um, I, I kept going hot and cold, and I just I was having, you know, really stotting headaches, and I felt sick, and 
I just didn't feel well at all and I kept taking my temperature and my temperature was fine. Uh, so I did actually end up going for a coronavirus test and I tell you going to one of them coronavirus testing centres is pretty scary. It was like watching, it was like a flipping outbreak where they're segregating people. Um, there was nobody there when I went, like not a soul, just me. Well, obviously Warren, who was driving us. So I went for a coronavirus test. It turned out to be negative. So I obviously just had some other kind of bug. But um, pretty scary. So I've been carrying this around in my little bag, just in case. And last but not least, or well, not last but not least, my phone would be in my bag. But obviously I'm videoing on my phone, so I can't show you that. So I always have my phone in this bag because... Otherwise, I'm just going to lose my phone. So my phone's always in there. So what goes with the phone is my headphones, which came with the phone. It's an iPhone. Because I think when you're, you know, if, if we're sitting in the in the sitting room watching the TV and I'm on, or Warren's watching the TV and I'm on my phone and I come across a video I want to watch, something like that, you know, I think it's just a nice idea to put your headphones in um, so I'm not disturbing Warren. So Warren, if you're listening, can you do the same, please? Because... Every time I'm trying to watch something on the telly, you'll be on your phone, a video will come up and you don't even think about my feelings. So, <laughs> get your own headphones. So, those are my headphones. So, those are all the things that I have in my little makeup bag. Um, you may think I'm stupid. I'd really like to know if anybody else does this. If anybody else has a little bag that's not the handbag that they carry around the house with them with all their essentials in them. These things are all my essentials. Um, I would be lost without any of them. So the must-haves. So definitely let us know if you do something similar and I'd love to know what's in yours. I hope you found that interesting. I hope you don't think I'm too strange. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, well, that's all from me today and I'll see you again really soon. So bye for now.